the channel i'm going to be showing you exactly how i use my supply and demand to maximize my risk to reward and my win rate and how you can find the exact precise point of entry what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump on the charts and show you right now we're on euro usd now we're on the 30 minute charts and essentially what we need to be looking for is we need to be looking at order blocks that haven't been mitigated order blocks that need liquidity above it so essentially what I mean by that is we need order blocks that haven't been tested. So they, let's say that's our order block. What I mean by it's been mitigated is if price has gone up and then we've come down and we've mitigated it. That means that when price comes down to it again in the future, it's not going to hold because it's already been tested. The volume that was being stored inside of that order block is no longer there. So it's not going to hold. So if we have a look here, we've got an order block here already been mitigated. So when price come back down, as you can see here, people started buying. So we can see that price pushed in, we started to push out of it because majority of people don't understand mitigation points. And that's why price then come down, induced all the buyers out of the market, hit their stop loss, then tapped into the valid order blocks and so on. And then the other thing with liquidity, we need to have liquidity under it. So for instance, here, we've got liquidity underneath these lows so price has come down, taken the liquidity from these lows, tapped into the order block, and then continued up. So that's the two things that we need. I'll go into it a bit more in detail in a minute, but I just want to get on with, you know, finding the correct demand zones. All of these order blocks have been mitigated. So this order block mitigated this order block, this order block mitigated this order block. So as you can see, all of that has been mitigated. So if you were to draw that over, you can see price didn't hold. So yeah, you could have that marked out, this one marked out, this one marked out, and so on and be unsure why it's not holding so if we have a look at the one beneath that we can now see that this is going to be our first point of liquidity because we don't need to be marking out every single low as our liquidity because it's it's no interest it's just making your charts super super busy which isn't what we like so that is the only one we're going to be marking out because we know price is not going to move anywhere so anywhere from here to here we know it's not going to continue buying because we haven't got any valid poy so now if we have a look we have our order block here we have an order block here that hasn't been mitigated we've got the liquidity above it and we haven't had it been tested so it's it's a valid order block it's got the volume we need so that is the one we're going to be using so again here let's have a look where's the correct point of interest Where's the first point of liquidity? So price has come up, then we've come down. There's no liquidity here. So this order block isn't going to hold. So the first point of liquidity is going to be that low. So price comes down, takes the liquidity, taps into the order block, already mitigating it. So when price failed to break previous high, we know that price needs more strength, we need, we need more liquidity, more volume. So what does it need to do? Essentially, it needs to come down, taking all of this liquidity. So... As you can see, where's our first point of liquidity? All of this has been mitigated. All of this is mitigated. So the only valid point of liquidity is going to be that low. So where's the first point of interest beneath that low? It's going to be the order block that hasn't been mitigated. Hold on. Let's have a look here. So that there is our valid order block. As you can see in this example, it did actually miss it. It just missed it. But nevertheless that is how you find out where the value point of interest is if we do a little bit of a zooming in we can see the price here on the 30 minute we can see we have an order block here however it's already been mitigated so when it's already been mitigated if we can see another point of interest another type of demand i.e an ifc candle an imbalance then we can potentially be looking at that so because this is a massive order block and just the very beginning was tapped, this doesn't mean that this whole region, this whole price range is invalid. So what we can be doing is refining it slightly. So if we have a little look, we can see here there is a tiny, tiny imbalance. So if we mark that up as our imbalance, we now know that that type of demand is valid because it hasn't been mitigated imbalances fair value gaps i don't usually like trading just because you know you're going to be having bigger stops so essentially if we were entering here i wouldn't have the confidence to have my stop loss at 1.9 pips or would probably be having it here so when it's that large for me is there's no point there's no point in me entering it but 
the whole point with trading this approach and this style and strategy is because essentially all we're doing is we're marking that POI out. So when price pushes into it, we can then jump straight down to the lower time frame and have a look and watch what price does inside of that 30 minute candle. So we can see here, we may not get a value to entry, but we can have a look, price come up, we've broken structure, price come up again, continuing to break. And then if we have a look here, we can see the price come up, we pulled back slightly, leaving liquidity, which is a key, key factor. We've left liquidity in the market, price has continued up, creating a new high, which now validates that low being our liquidity. Where's the first point of interest beneath that low? We can now mark out this order block and drag it across. So that there is completely valid. So your entry could have been here with your stops just beneath and then you could have been targeting previous high. So previous high would have been over here and that could have been your targets. Or if you're looking at the high time frame external structure. So if we go back on the 30 minute, we can have a little look. We could have been targeting this high. So if we now draw that up, we can now see that that is now a 20 R risk to reward, which just shows the possibilities and the potentials with trading this approach. Once you've found out the high time from intention, the narrative, finding the valid point of interest, all it takes is to jump on the one minute to find that refinement entry. And you're making, you know, I'm not saying it like you're going to be catching these positions every single day. It doesn't happen. If you can just catch one of these trades, even if it's just one to 10 up, catching it once a week, once a fortnight, you're going to be making much more than everyone else. Because a lot of people don't understand the real importance of, you know, trading market intention. I'm going to leave this video here just because I don't want to bombard you with so many different examples, so much information, because at the end of the day, we're not going to be benefiting from that. I like to keep them short. You can take in as much kind of information as you can. Join the free Discord. Send me any messages, any chart recommendations. I'll get back to you within the matter of an hour, if not sooner. Um, I'm hosting a free webinar tomorrow as well, or potentially next week. So make sure you get involved in that. Um, and I'm going to see you boys in the next video.